Hey, good morning, guys. This is a work order. A pump is making a lot of noise. I'm gonna take you step by step on how I troubleshoot. So don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. If you listen to that noise and if you see closely, uh, you could see that the coupler is hitting the inside wall of the bearing assembly. You could see the shavings right there. Um, you know, this noise might be coming from the bearing assembly or from the motor. So I know what's going on, but I'm gonna take you step by step. So you have to, uh, what causes all this? Um, Believe it or not, it's the motor mountings. So I'm gonna take apart and I'm gonna show you what is not and then I'm gonna show you what is going on for sure. So since there's a lot of shaving some of the coupler, let's replace the coupler first. It might be faulty, it might be sagging, you know, all the springs. And I'm gonna install this coupler. This is not PNG coupler, but uh, uh, I like this one very much because in my opinion, there's less chances of rubbing against the um, the bearing assembly. Since the BNG is bigger and it has more parts, more, more you know, it hits the wall. So, um, we're gonna install this one and I'm gonna show you where I'm buy where I buy them and how much they are. And you need two tools. This is a 1-8 Allen key. It's perfect because we have to remove the coupler screws. And I'm gonna use a, a this is an awesome uh, screwdriver or nut driver. I'm gonna use the 7 16 to remove these bolts here and it's very easy to remove since we are removing just the motor uh, uh, we have the bearing assembly here this is the water seal so we we are not shutting off any any water any any valves because we are not exposing we are not opening this the water seal so we're just gonna remove the motor here from here so the bearing assembly has two sides the one on the motor side and the one that hooks on the bearing assembly right now i'm undoing the side of the motor shaft and it takes one eight range and this is the screw and once i pull the motor, i'm going to show you up close where you put the wrench now we're going to remove the four bolts uh, that holds the motor to the bearing assembly and this is a 716 and I, ha I have this awesome nut driver by Klein and it has all kind of s all sizes and this happens to have the 716 so I'm removing all four bolts and then we're gonna pull the motor so now uh, I loosen up all the screws now I'm gonna use my hand since I have the camera on the other hand, uh, that's the way I'm doing it. So sorry about that. But uh, um, I'm gonna remove my latch screw and I'm gonna hold the motor with with my knees because uh, I have the camera on the other hand. So this is the last screw, and now we're, I'm gonna uh, grab the motor and I'm just gonna put it on the floor. Uh, for that, you have to make sure that the uh, whip the electrical whip is long enough to put it there otherwise you have to plan ahead of time and put up buckets if, if it doesn't reach and this is the coupler it seems like it's moving it doesn't seem the like the uh, bearing assembly is at fault and uh, because it's moving very easy so uh, we're gonna remove the other side the the side of the bearing assembly and that's what we did with the motor earlier and that's how it is so just picture the motor that the motor is still there and you're gonna put your wrench on that screw and then you're gonna remove the screw and then the motor but this is the other side this is the bearing assembly 
so just be, bear in mind that so now I remove the screw now I'm gonna remove uh, my coupler so now we got it here as it could you could see it's bigger parts more parts so easier uh, prone to fail and uh, again the bearing assembly there's no noise to it it's spinning free so I don't think it's the bearing assembly now I'm gonna uh, isolate the motor I'm gonna turn it on just by itself I'm gonna turn the switch on and let's see if 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 it makes noise so that way we isolate the motor and then we can rule it out to see if that's making the noise or not so let's wait a little bit it's calling for here it has to go through the safeties so let's wait do you hear that the motor turned the shaft is spinning so I don't think it's the motor let's look for something else so now let me show you the couplers I this is the BNG and that's the original nothing wrong with it but it's if you notice it's bigger uh, it has springs and more parts and the other one in comparison is smaller so less chances to hit um, the bearing assembly so we're going to install it and then we're going to see what happens if we're going to see if that fixes our problem so you're going to align this you're going to align this screw with this holder right there and then from here you're just going to screw it and you have to make sure the screws goes all the way in there you go now it's going in right there and the screw has to go flush. If the screw is above a little bit, it means it didn't go through the hole. Now I'm pushing the coupler inside. Put one. I'm gonna put one screw to hold it. And I'm gonna screw it. It's right there. So that's the screw. Just make sure that that's tight, and that's where it's supposed to be. So we just replaced the coupler and it's doing exactly the same. So this is to show you that not because you hear the coupler hitting uh, the uh, bearing assembly, then is the coupler to blame. Yes, the coupler is hitting the, uh, the housing, but what's causing the coupler to fail? It is the motor mountings. They get saggy for over oiling and just with age. So we're going to replace them and I'm going to show you how we fix it. I'm going to remove the power cord. Because I have to remove this bracket. Even though I killed the power, I'm going to check again. So I'm going to check to see if there's power and there's no power so check twice sometimes you think that you kill the power but uh, the wires go around some box and then pick up other wires so now i'm gonna remove this nut here i have to fix this cord this cord to the flexible 
metal flexible conduit. I'm gonna put it on the side. I'm gonna remove this bracket and then I'm gonna do So now I'm gonna remove the mounts. I'm gonna use a flat screwdriver. I'm gonna turn the motor. There she goes. I want to clean. I'm going to clean the whole motor. And I'm going to remove the other one. I'm going to do the same. See, this was all broken and saggy. So that's why the motor is not straight. The mounts cannot hold it straight. So it moves and the shaft and it, and then it hits the bearing assembly wall. So I'm, use, I'm using the flat blade kind of just to pry out. There you go. So I'm gonna install the rubber mount. And you see the, this brick here? This goes on the bottom side. So when the pressure of the motor, this absorbs the pressure of the motor. And then this uh, ground wire, you have to put it inside and I'm gonna use a hammer around the mountain. I already did this side. The brake goes at the bottom. Okay, now we're gonna do the cage. I don't know what's the name of it. Um, we're gonna go just the center of the pump is this uh, oil port. And I'm just gonna center it with this because I have to put my, this end piece right there. Right there, so I'm gonna center this with this. Because this is my bottom bracket. Now, if you come this way, this has to sit here. And this has to hook into that hole. There you go, see? This tab goes here. So you have to hold it. And then the top is gonna sit here, right where the other one was. And this has to be, and take the other tab. There you go. So I'm in here. And then on top of this one, and then this was goes right on the other side. I'm gonna do my two screws for the bracket, and I have. 
have the wrong screwdriver and you have to make sure this is at the center so that's one screw and make sure it's tight so the cage sits um, strong around the mount so there's no vibration and now these are all hooked so we're good so I put it back together now uh, I just turn the power back on and let's wait a few seconds it has to go through safety and then it's gonna turn on a few more seconds there you go that's running so no more noise it looks good this is a coupler 1751030 and uh, i'm gonna put a a link in the on the video so again this video is just to let you know to when the coupler it hits the bearing assembly most of the time 90.9 percent .9 is because the motor mountings are saggy, are worn out due to over oiling and due to age. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.